Good afternoon. I'm Gaya Mistoso, and I have been working as consultant for APLF since 2004. And I've been collaborating with OO, uh, Olivier, in Paris. This is the creative team in Paris on the materials and products trends guide, which are developed twice a year for the spring, summer, fall, winter seasons. Uh, before I proceed, I would just like to tell everybody that uh, all of the colors that will be presented today uh, and are featured in the guide are based on the Pantone fashion and the fashion and home guide. So uh, this is the TPX guide. So if you are in possession of the TPX guide, uh, do check it out so you will be able to see the exact colors because I'm afraid that what you will see on the screen will not be very accurate in terms of view and brilliance. But nevertheless, it will give you a good representation of the palette of colors in each particular story. So now let me just share my screen. There we go. So it is my pleasure to present to you the Fashion Therapy, which is part of the Another Earth. It's the second season where we feature Another Earth as a theme. And this is an APLF Scholar and Material Trends Guide for Spring Summer 2022. And as you saw earlier, this was developed by APLF Artistic Director Olivier Guillemin of OO in Paris, and it is in collaboration with the Comité Francais de la Couleur. Now, the, this, the trends for 2022 features four main themes versus equitable earth, vivid earth, spiritual earth, and the last will be dynamic earth. I think that for all of us living through the pandemic has made it very evident that we need to turn towards a holistic and more sustainable lifestyle because we are in a new rather uncertain age where a return to earth and all its wonders and beauty help us to think about more or see tomorrow in a more positive way. It's the time to feel and fashion the future with our hearts more mindful of the earth that we call home. So let's go and start with our very first theme, which is equitable earth. It illustrates a desire for simplicity. This is the natural, functional, more sustainable story in, in this uh, season. It has us wanting a more simple, casual, down-to-earth, practical fashions. In this story, we are working with the six colors. We have a blue, the violet, ochre, olive green, orange, and grey, or which is sort of a blend of beige and grey. Note that all the colors have a grey cast to them, so creating a sort of muted tone. They're not very bright colors, they're muted. It's like looking at the colors in the softer light of dusk, you know, like at the end of the day. The theme also takes inspiration from natural organic materials like leather and fabrics and weaves from natural fibers like cotton or canvas, hemp and raffia. The theme is also very strong on sustainable recycled materials. So if you were working with synthetics, synthetic materials, I'm afraid that this wouldn't be the story for you. Now let's see what those materials are. So, authentic, eco-responsible materials. For leather, we're looking at metal-free leather, leather with visible veins and giant grains, recycled leather, vegetable tanned leather, uh, particularly for those tanned with using grape pulp, corduroy, nubok, wax leather, suede, braided leather and fish skin. For non-leather materials, we're using a lot of natural fibers, a lot of plant-based alternatives to leather. We have uh, organic lacquer on wood, summer knits, 
I would say that would be summer knits in wool, wash denim, recycled canvases, hemp, straw and raffia, macrame, and certified organic cork. For motifs and accessories in this particular theme, we would see a lot of recycled plastic, the use of wood buckles, braided cords, reconditioned aluminum metal pieces, hemp buttons, hammock stripes, colorful herring bones, and graphic vintage motifs. Let's start with the blues. Let's let's take a look at how how to how we can illustrate the kinds of materials and how it, they, the colors are used in this particular story. So for the blues, for example, we can have cotton weaves. And as we said uh, earlier for the motifs, a lot of hammock stripes, which are the bigger stripes. Leather will have more visible veins and le printed leather with a lot of using a lot of vintage motifs. Denim as a material will always be strong, but uh, it's very natural and very practical material. And then leather that's been waxed will also be good for this particular story. In green, we have a very beautiful olive green. Here's a canvas with a graphic leaf motif. This is a double face suede with a mottled finished surface on the other side. Woven leather and cord in a sort of lacquered finish. The corduroy effect or corduroy, corduroy style can be done on nubuck or suede. And uh, you can use a lot of fish skin with big scales. Next we have this, uh, how do you say this? This would be a violet because it's a bit more on the blue side, I think. No? So here's some woven raffia, colored snake skin, embossed sort of grainy leather. Here we have suede with a mottled finish. Again, in a different color, some woven cotton and leather with a mottled reptile finish. So there's a lot of reptiles, a lot of weaves, cotton weaves. In apricot brandy, which is a sort of burnt orange, the theme would carry vegetable tanned leather, nubuck, snake skin again, the top grain leather, Leather with a sort of rusty radiated effect. Canvas. And snake skin with a vintage motif. Then in ochre, we have cow leather, a waffled woven fabric. So leather with a giant grain finish. Lizard skin and veiny leathers. You know, the, the veins are very apparent or even a little bit exaggerated. And finally, for the first theme, there's the beige. So this is a, a beige that's in it's in between a beige and a and a gray. So beige as we as we would name it. Here we have woven abaca and bamboo. Leather again in a mottled finish. Palm leaf woven, woven leather, 
and a sort of waxy finish on leather. So now let's take a closer look at the motifs and accessories that go well with this natural story. One would be the use of herringbone pattern. Although uh, this is actually herringbone, which is great, sort of a staggered zigzag pattern where the blocks make a 90 degree angle or a place perpendicular to each other. Well, this is a chevron, but it is sort of used hand in hand as herringbone. Chevron, as you can see, has pieces that where the blocks run point to point. So it, you have an angle of 45 degrees, so you get a continuous zigzag design. So this pattern or this motif would be quite strong for the season. Then we have a lot of the more graph, the graphic, simple graphic vintage motifs, sort of vintage colors. And using recycled fibers, like in this case, these are hemp, hemp fiber buttons. And as we mentioned earlier, one of the stripes come in the big hammock stripes. Use of a lot of wood accessories or wood components like in with the buckles and braided cotton cords. Now let's go to the second theme, which is vivid earth, which is a desire for fresh air, or it depicts a desire for fresh air. It's about giving nature a shot of adrenaline with cyber colors, digital effects, and sporty fun embellishments. This is the urban sort of futuristic digital lifestyle that's mixed with romanticism. Colors are derived from plants. So here we have a very green dominant palette. We have a bright aqua in Neptune, Neptune green, a yellow green and a yellow green and green banana and a deep green. This is set against a, a bright sort of floral explosion of colors from bubblegum, strawberry pink to orange and a very light purple. This is a very happy, refreshing, if rather unexpected color range. When it comes to materials, look for glazed, glossy, patent and metallic finishes on leather and other materials in, in synthetics. There should be vibrant, vibrant splashes of color on leather and synthetics such as PU, PVC mesh and nettings. Natural materials like straw and raffia are given a makeover with colorful varnishes. Overall, focus on materials that blend nature with the artificial. So again, let's go through the materials that associate nature and artifice. For leather, for this story, it's about ultra smooth leather and very supple napa, very soft leather. Caviar and chagrin grained leather, chagrin or what do you call that, uh, stingray. Graphic perforated leather, a, the wet look or patent leather, metallic leather in graded colors, motifs quilted on leather and colored python. For non-leather materials, we have water-based PU, 3D mesh and netting, shiny parachute canvas, Liberty Print PVCs. We'll explain to you later what the Liberty Print is, if you're not familiar with it. And then the glossy honeycomb fabrics and colorful varnished straw and raffia. For motifs and accessories, we have terrazzo style accessories, floral jewels in resin or enameled metal, beaded flowered braids, leather flowers. So as you can see, there will be a lot of florals in this particular story. And insect butchers, so also some insect uh, designs. Electric colored metal hardware, colorful eyelets and studs, a lot of geometric prints, 
and digital botanic motifs. Now, like earlier, let's take a look at the materials and colors. So for green, we have this is embossed PU, multicolored python, a synthetic knit, leather with the graphic embossed print, a 3D space mesh, and woven raffia and straw. So as you can see, it's a blend of synthetics and leather. In orange, here's where we see some botanical motifs that can be printed on, uh, on either leather or fabric. So metallic leather in graded colors. So the basket weave, this is with the leather inserts. Innovative recycled materials and a striped patent leather. For pink, this ultra smooth leather. And this is what we would call a shagreen grained leather. A two-toned 3D mesh, honeycomb fabric, okay, and so a few other textured materials and a printed PU material. For deep green or duck green, here we have a, a leather mesh. Ultra smooth, very smooth finish on the leather perforated leather, leather with the shots of metallic, and the terrazzo style, or terrazzo motif. For green banana, we have a very wet look, patent leather, Woven fabric, I believe this is uh, woven linen. Glazed leather. Again, a shagreen grain leather. A digital botanic motif. And more colored python. Bougainvillea or purple. We have quilted effect on leather. So shots of metallic, a glazed embossed leather. So th this is sort of a digital floral patterns. Woven fabric. And again, a shagreen or caviar finish leather. Quick look at the motifs and accessories for Vivid Earth. We have electric colored metal hardware, multicolored metal hardware, no? Colorful eyelets, lots of uh, insect motifs or, pat or designs, lots of floral touches, leather flowers, and the use of digital botanic motifs. Then as we mentioned earlier, there's terrazzo. Uh, if you, uh, just to explain terrazzo is a composite material which consists mostly of chips, of marble, quartz, granite, glass, or any other suitable material all bound together in cement, or usually in cement. And then there's the use of uh, geometric patterns as prints, but of course we, this will be done, the patterns will be done in very, very strong colors. Now we go to our third team, which is Spiritual Earth. 
which tells of our desire for well-being, especially in this time of much anxiety because of the pandemic. This is the classic, sensual, and discreetly luxurious story for the spring-summer 22 season. The colors are harmonious. Actually, if you will look at the screen, it, the colors seem rather strong, but in truth, the colors in this particular story are, are very, very light and muted. And there's a lot of play of shadow and light. So there's a very pale yellow against a deep brown, a very nice peach against very wart, warm white tones and soft pastels. So the neutrals are, are here. There's a lot of metallic reflections on neutrals and a lot of fleshy tones, like in blush. Materials, on the other hand, are very powdery. We have a lot of pearlized surfaces, very delicate materials. So the very tastefully metallic or iridescent. Leather has an oily glazed finish and a lot of matte finishes. So woven materials also are given a very precious feel. So like in, in our first theme, which is Equitable Earth, I think the focus here is more on leather and natural materials. So let's go through these tactile original materials. In leather, as we said, pearlized, powdery, sandy finished leather, grady cow leather with metallic reflections, stretched delicate nubuck, silky sparkling napa, two-toned pony look calfskin, oiled leather, glazed leather, suede with filtered shadowy finishings, lacquered color, metallic reptile skins. As we go through this list or, or uh, inspirations for, see these as inspirations for you, if you are tannery. So these are the types of finishes that you might want to try for this next season. For non-leather materials, there's a lot of iridescent linen, a lot of precious weaves, precious using, meaning using very more precious uh, materials, matte satin and silk, and lacquered bamboo. For motifs and accessories, we have leather lacings, again, some more fringes and braids, Transparent resin accessories with insets of gold or stones, baroque beads, woven gold braids, metal pin fit pieces, hammered metal, rhinestones, solarized prints, sacred motifs, and motifs embroidered with stones and crystals. We'll see a little bit more of these later. So now, what kind of materials should we be looking for? In warm white, in star white, which is a very warm white, we have this embossed sort of uh, canvas. This new book, sort of very powdery effect with a little hint of fur on it for leather, some pearlized leather. As you can see, it's very it's very muted, it's very discreet. Then we have matte embossed leather and sandy textured leather. For peach blush, it can come in this, a matte perforated leather in an oilier sort of patent finish. This one is a pearlized leather. This is suede with an iridescent finish on top and a rather lacquered effect on colored reptile. So this is lobster bisque, which is a sort of rusty pink shade. We have this matte embossed leather a sort of more precious, more interesting weave using different materials. 
a metallic payette panel. Again, sort of pearlized leather, two-tone finish, and colored snake skin. Then we have Navajo, which is a very soft muted yellow. There's a very powdery, very soft Napa, woven leather. This is a matte fabric. I think it's a bit of silk with shots of shimmer. This is lightly metallic linen and a very matte satin. For lavender fog, this is, you know, first we had the very fine fabric embroidered with stones and, and crystals. So leather with a very powdery sandy finish. A grainy cow with very soft metallic reflections. A nice linen. Again, pearlized leather. So pearlized shimmery fabric and a sandy nubuck. In brown, with the chocolate or chocolate brown, woven leather and rope, very silky sparkling napa, suede with very shadowy mottled finish. Beautiful grainy, sort of, I, I think this is a top grain or full grain cow leather with metallic reflections. A pearlized and sandy nubuck or, and a two-tone pony look calfskin. So let's take a look again at the motifs and accessories. So as we said, there'll be a lot of leather lacing and braiding, even used as a, how to say, a stitching for, for bags. Braiding is also extends to woven gold braids, so fringes, hammered metal, particularly for buckles, as you see here, transparent resins with gold or stone insets, rhinestones, particularly those made from recycled glass. So we have Baroque, or what we call uneven beads here, seen in resin and the, the normal Baroque pearls. So we have a lot of fabrics with motifs that are embroidered in stone and crystals. So here, this is what we call solarized prints. So it's given a, a very different solarized effect. And like I think, believe this particular set of photos are from many, many years ago and the, the sacred motifs or religious iconogra iconog iconography was very, very strong and well, it's back. So a lot of religious motifs or sacred motifs like the Star of David or the Christian cross or some Taoist symbols. So it can be for and from any religion And so for our final theme, this is dynamic earth. The last theme it tells of our desire to travel and this is to experience all of the different ex exotic cultures and the different arts and crafts from various cultures. It's a very energetic story where sports and craftsmanship combine to co create a sort of very creative euphoria or feeling This showcases a rather radical range of colors, very joyous, insolent brights applied as solids or two tones or multicolors. We have a very bright orange and a very warm crimson side by side with 
the peacock blue, which is more of a turquoise, a very deep, tarty, lemony yellow, and a delicious grape hue. This is the story that presents quite extravagant, innovative materials that include a mix of textured and high performance leathers, technical synthetics, and fabrics done in a bold and very, very bright palette. So let's read through these materials. Oops, hang on. Okay. So we have um, leather. For leather, we have, as we said, textured motifs, ribbing, on so creating a 3D effect on leather, ultra fine, very supple patents, patent leather, I mean. So leather with micro stripes, waterproof no bulk, leather meshes, lambskin with a rubbery back hand, leather with shape, memory, technical knit, and leather double face. For non-leather, we have a coated nylon canvas, 3D neoprene foam, technical weaves, weaves made from upcycled textiles, fine coated canvases and embroidered mesh, and motifs and accessories like buckle shield, sheath and neoprene, wood accessories with colored varnish, multicolored plastic chains, braids made of plastic lanyards, reflective laces and ties, pop versions of RTN figurative prints and ethnofolk digital motifs. So let's see an illustration of how these colors and materials work. Starting with this vibrant, very red orange hue. Here's a mesh of supple patent leather and Napa. Or is it suede? I believe it's suede. This is a waterproof nubuck. So weaves of natural fibers, or this could also be using old textiles. Embossed synthetics. This one I believe is uh, a light neoprene. So very fancy reflective mesh and a nylon canvas, also with quite a lot of texture. For true blue, here's a very nice leather mesh. Here we have a striated or sort of cut, create striped look to leather. A textured canvas. Here's very supple, soft patent leather. It's coated nylon and a synthetic mesh. In peacock blue, which in fact looks like a very beautiful turquoise or teal color, we have a sequined mesh. And here we have a very extravagant, rather embroidered fabric, mesh fabric with feathers and crystals, a very rich supple lambskin, Two-toned exotics like this patent python and shiny snakeskin. And uh, textured motifs embossed on leather. For super lamb on a very bright yellow, here's beautiful lambskin with a very rubbery hand. Sort of golden colored knit mesh. Very grainy, textured leather. This here is 3D neoprene foam. A multi-material, multi-color weave. And here we have a bit of 3D effect on leather. In crimson, which is a very, very rich red, you see Again, patent leather, beautiful sequined embroidered mesh, 
highly grained leather, a woven jacquard, and another waterproof nabak, and a tufted technical fabric. For sparkling grape, or purple, I think. Again, another example of a textured motif on leather. Here is a stretch mesh. This time it's a reflective mesh. And this is an, another, I believe a whole honeycomb mesh material. And here's leather striated with a chevron pattern. Another leather with concave circles or patterns. And lastly, let's go back and explain a little bit of the motifs and accessories for this theme. So we see a lot of uh, feathers and jewels and crystal decorations. Reflective laces and ties. Multicolored plastic chains. So wood accessories or components, but in colored varnish. There'll be a lot of uh, prints using these versions, this sort of RT figurative print similar to the ones from uh, uh, seen here. And also a lot of ethno folk digital motifs. So those are four stories. Again, equitable earth, vivid earth, spiritual earth, and dynamic earth. So all of these four stories tells us the story of how we are in this age of COVID where we have had to make a drastic change to our lifestyles and the way we view the world. So what we are presenting is fashion that is now rooted in the earth and in traditions. So that in terms of materials, colors, and motifs, fashion can serve as a therapy, keeping us grounded and at one with the earth. So I hope, uh, I think we'll be open to questions if you have any, but uh, in the meantime, I'd like to say thank you. And I hope uh, that you were able to pick up on a lot of ideas and inspirations for your new collections. Thank you. and. Uh, I think we have time for questions, if there are any. Xavier? Hi, Gay. Um, I think we, um, we actually received some questions, but due to the time limit, so we will send you all the questions um, afterwards so you can reply them one by one. Yes, and if there will be, uh, yes, so long as they have their contact uh, information, that would be a pleasure. Yeah. So thank you so much for your presentations, and I will see you tomorrow again. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.